back to the Phantom Gourmet. We've featured thousands of restaurants on this show over the past 15 years, but the biggest reaction we've ever seen was for a one-of-a-kind restaurant hidden away in the woods of Charlestown, Rhode Island. You can eat lobster. Tails and claws as far as the eye can see. It's not a dream. It's just another meal at the legendary Nordic Lodge in Charlestown, Rhode Island. This is our lobster bar, obviously. This is the big draw at the Nordic Lodge. People love them. We use two clawed, pound and a quarter, chicken lobsters. Hard shell, nothing but the best. Fresh and lively, brought in daily. Lobster is just one of a hundred items that pack the buffet every day, all under the watchful eye of of owner Steve Pearson. And everybody gets to this point first and then they're faced with three decisions. They either go to the grill, the lobster bar, or the main buffet. Hey, this is our raw bar. To start with, we've got our peel and eat shrimp, cocktail sauce to accompany it. We've got red crab claws, New Zealand green mussels, and gulf oysters on the half shell over here. This is our haagen ice cream bar. All the ice cream served here is haagen -Dazs. Here is our dessert bar. Chocolate dipped strawberries and cherries. Popular place to be. The Nordic Lodge, a gourmet buffet that's all it's cracked up to be. And joining us now is Steve Pearson from the Nordic Lodge. So, Steve, we got to get right to the lobster. And I want to talk numbers here because people just get blown away by the concept of all-you-can-eat lobster. So, like, how many lobsters does the average person eat that comes to the Nordic Lodge? Oh, average, I'm not sure. But you get <laughs> some people eat one, some people eat six or eight. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do at least six. I mean, that's, a, that's an appetizer for me, Steve. I mean, but so you must be certain. I mean, I can't even imagine the operation. How do you get all these lobsters? How do you store them? How do you cook them? Uh, we, we've got a live tank that'll hold up to 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds of yeah. lobster at any one time. Correct. Yeah. And we've got walk-in coolers that they come out of the water into the cooler, and, and then they go into this big steam cooker. So you can uh, basically crank out a lot of them in a short amount of time. We can cook 180 pounds every 19 minutes. That is absolutely staggering. And, you know, the place yeah. is always full, and it's always full of people with plates full of lobster. Now, I'm assuming uh, there must be a lot of butter involved then to go along with this lobster. <laughs> we go through somewhere between 300 and 400 pounds every week. Pounds of butter a week? Butter. Yeah. yeah, well, you know what, if you're going to have uh, however many thousands of pounds, I mean, to me, the ratio is for like a, you know, one and a half pound lobster. I like at least a half a pound of butter to go along <laughs> with it. I might be throwing the ratio <laughs> off a little bit. But the, the funny thing is, uh, Steve, a lobster certainly gets people started there, and that might be the, the first thing they flock to. And then you realize there's a huge amount of other stuff, including, let's just stay with seafood. Talk about some of the seafood options you got at the at the Nordic uh, Lodge. I would say our number two biggest draw would be the king crab. Yeah, the <clears> king <throat> crab legs are huge. And, 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 and what else do you have? We've got cocktail shrimp, stuffed shrimp, fried shrimp, shrimp scampi, shrimp salad, uh, clams on a half shell, oysters on a half shell. I mean, it's just on and on and on. Marinated mussels, uh, scungeal, calamari. Oh, I yeah, mean, you get just... that right. You got the fried seafood as well. I didn't even think about that one. So uh, that is a pretty good for a peel-and-eat experience, I have to say. You can't do much better than all you can eat. Now, I want to talk to you for a moment about buffet strategy. I mean, for people that go to this type of, you know, high-end, a luxury, high-class buffet, uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure there. Uh, and actually, we, we, we filmed uh, some footage at the Nordic Lodge, and, and we asked uh, one of your customers to, uh, to tell us about his strategy. And here's what he had to say. Okay, once you come in the restaurant, you have to have a game plan. My plan is on paper. In this particular restaurant, the lobsters are the high dollar value. That is the jewel in the king's crown. Okay, the appetizers and the salads, just distractors for the un unschooled and buffery artistry. It's like a football game. You keep track of your time, you keep track of your capacity, you pace yourself. This is my game, and I play to win. Now, okay, so there's a guy schooled in buffery artistry, uh, Steve, obviously. So uh, there's a two-hour time limit on the buffet, right? So is. What, what is the strategy? What should people do when they walk in? Everybody's got it different. Some people go straight to the hors d'oeuvres. They want to they start there. Some people go straight to the meat bar yeah. where all our, all our meat is certified Angus beef. I mean, it's outrageously good. Some people go straight to the lobster bar, and some people bypass the lobster. They go for the king crab instead. Yeah. So, I mean, it's all different. Some people actually go and get a haagen ice cream shake. You know what? That's first. a perfect way to, <laughs> that's a perfect way to segue to, to the next topic, which is dessert. Now, I can't imagine that people even get to dessert in Nordic Lodge. I know I never have, but there are some pretty good options for dessert. 
We go through a ton of desserts, but but it's because they're good. I mean, the strawberries and cherries dipped right there that you see, yep. that's imported Belgian chocolate. I mean, we don't, the only things we put on our buffet are the best of the best in every way. Those being, you know, the imported chocolate. Haagen-Dazs ice cream bar. Haagen -Dazs right. People cream. can make their own, like, ice right. cream is kind of how that works. So uh, you got chocolate cake, and that is the cherry on top right there uh, to the lobster buffet. Hey, thank you so much, Steve Pearson. Please tell people where the Nordic Lodge is exactly. It's in Charlestown, Rhode Island. Yep. You can look it up, nordiclodge.com. Nordiclodge.com. Uh, ask for me if you come in. We've got a full bar. We've got a, it's a great experience. All right, say hi to Steve. Tell him the Phantom sent you. Okay, come.